What's going on, everybody? I am back playing even more Pokemon Infinity. Uh, when we last left off, I was leaving the cemetery and heading to the west, but I kind of want to head north from here. Uh, the area I'm in is called Palkin Heights. I've... Let's see what this guy's got going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to talk to him for a battle, but this he was not very receptive. His name is Brogan. Nice. Okay, Brogan. A classic name. What do we do here? I think Energy Ball, actually. I'm thinking that this is gonna be the right call for you, boy. Yeah, look at that. God dang. Okay, that's plenty of damage. For Alligator. You know what? I could switch, but I'm down to Energy Ball again. Also, god dang, a level 48 for Alligator? Wow. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's gonna kill. Yeah. There's no way that doesn't kill me right there. Or at least kill Mind Freak. I'm sorry, Mind Freak. Ah, uh, I wish that you could have lived. But alas, it was not meant to be. Uh, I'm probably faster, right? I'm not. Okay. Dang, Feraligator's pretty fast. Okay, well now I'm definitely faster. <laughs> well, it didn't really matter anyway, because uh, they're done, so. Dang, these teams are getting really tricky to deal with. There's some pretty strong Pokemon around here. Oh, Hex? Hex is pretty decent, although, yeah, doing massive damage if they have status problems. I'm not really using any moves that affect them with status problems. I'm not really doing that too much. Oh, this will be interesting, actually. Magmortar versus Ripjaw. I'm thinking Magmortar might actually have the upper hand here. It's going to be doing neutral damage with the fire, which is going to hurt pretty bad. I'm super effective with Crab Hammer, though. Oh, I get a one-shot. Never mind. Okay, I take it all back. I take it all back. I'm sorry for not having faith in Ripjaw. <laughs> Ripjaw, please. Come on. I believe in you, Ripjaw. Ooh, I'm actually going to switch off here to Burb. I want to get all my Pokemon in on the mix. I mean, I'm not getting Flameo in. Sorry, Flameo. But Burb, I'm noticing Burb here. Brave Bird. Dude, I should call it Brave Burb. Yes. Okay, that's, that's absolutely going to be a one-shot, 100%. <laughs> Dude, having a... Oh, that's, I forgot that the recoil was so significant. But yeah, the Lucky Egg on Burb is doing work. It is doing a tremendous amount of work. Now, I would switch into Flameo, but I don't want to. I want to get Bolt in there again. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Come on, Paralyze. Oh, yes, Static is pretty damn good. All right, you're done. Is there any type of electric move that does bonus damage to paralyzed enemies? Because I feel like that could be kind of cool. Similar to like, um, Venoshock. Oh, Giga Drain. Oh, weird. Okay, I could actually consider dropping Aqua Ring for this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get rid of Aqua Ring for that. I think that's gonna end up healing me more. Did you like my team? I did. You had a pretty good team, Brogan. My team and I like to help others. That's why they're so strong. Well, they were pretty dang strong, man. You get an A for effort there. Oh man, another one? Can I even handle them with my current team status? Yeah, I probably can. I'll heal Mind Freak up though. Come on, Mind Freak. Return to the land of the living. I could use a max revive, but I'll just pop a regular revive. There we go. I'm also realizing I have five rare candies. I should probably use some of those sometime soon. You know, they're just kind of sitting there burning a hole in my pocket. Or maybe burning a hole in my bag. <laughs> I gotta spend them is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's battle. Are you here to have fun? No, I'm here to explore and see cool things. Although I guess, you know what? I think that is pretty fun. That is pretty fun, Claire. Now, Psychic gotta do the trick. Psychic is pretty good. Oh my gosh, and a crit too. I think uh, I, I might not have got the one shot without that crit. That might have been the key to my victory. All right, Typhlosion. I was thinking of maybe sending in Flameo, but I'll send in Ripjaw. Flameo hasn't seen any action for a while. Flameo's been missing out on all the fun. Oh gosh, man, once again, I hate this steel typing. I'm taking a lot more damage because of it, which is contrary to what you would expect, right? Oh cool, I'm steel type. I'm gonna be resisting a lot of damage now. Nope, not in Ripjaw's case. Seeking. Yeah, I'll get Bolt in. I was thinking of maybe sending in Mind Freak and doing Energy Ball shenanigans, but why overthink it? I'll just discharge. Simple, right? Straightforward. Easy. 
lot of damage. And that's what I'm all about here. I'm all about doing a lot of damage. And I'm all about getting a lot of experience too. Clefable. So if I want to deal with a fairy type, uh, I could send in Ripjaw and do a steel type move, but <laughs> god dang, Ripjaw's so low. Okay, I'm gonna go for it though. I'm YOLOing. I don't have any poison type attacks, so I'm gonna YOLO this. Iron Head, baby. Oh, crap. <gasps> it's so tiny now. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna smack it with Iron Head. Nice. I like that. Oh, it was almost a one shot. Crap. Do I have any moves that don't ever miss? Iron Head has 100 accuracy, but yeah, Ripjaw's probably gonna be dead here, huh? Oh, oh, come on. Ripjaw might have survived a non crit. I'm just saying, that, not very effective. I'm just saying for that. Do I get Burb in the mix? I'm gonna get Flameo in the mix. I'm gonna get Flameo up in here, which you might be thinking, hey, that's kind of stupid. I'm sending in a dragon into a fairy, right? To which I say, that is actually very stupid. I should have considered that. <laughs> but Nostril Flare will do the trick, okay? I concede the fact that that was actually a little bit stupid. But it all worked out. I got that W. I got that dub skis. And I got the PP Max. Frick yeah, dude. Look at that. There's a bunch of little Bastiodons there, a little Buffalant. I wonder if the shiny odds are increased for those types of Pokemon. That'd actually be kind of cool. Have an increased chance to get some fun shinies. <gasps> a TM. Ooh, baby. Baby, what could it be? Oh, it's but a Mankey. I will run from thee. What do we got here? Flamethrower. Oh, baby, baby, baby. That's good. I already have that on Flameo. Flameo's got some big boy damage right there with Flamethrower. I'm actually going to move that into the top spot. I'm going to do a little reshuffle here. Because I think Flamethrower, then Dragon Breath. Nostril Flare is cool for priority. I can't believe that Nostril Flare is 35 PP. That's busted. If I put a PP max on Nostril Flare, would that go up to like 60? Could I hit 70? That'd be insane. And then, uh, I should really get rid of Brick Break. My special attack is higher, right? Like, it's like a, only a little bit higher though. Five points? That's actually a little bit closer than I was anticipating. So, I could fly. Wait, I can fly to Paul Ken Trail? Where does that take me? Huh? Oh, what? It takes me right down there. What the heck? Okay, wait, where the heck even am I? What's going on here? I don't, have I been here before? Did I fly to the end of the, where the hell am I? Maybe I, okay, I think I flew south and this is going to Genesis Forest. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, oh my God, this looks so nice still. Oh man, I love Genesis Forest, look at that. Like the little like murky grass in the water there, oh. And the little muddy water TM there placed right there amongst the little toadstools. God, that's some good stuff. Give me some of these citrus berries too. Look, you can still see that there's like a fog volume, but now it's moving down and right. You can see it clearly if you look at like the trees up above me. Oh my gosh. Man, those trees look really nice as well. Oh, I can't get over how good those trees look. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. I love Genesis Forest. This area is really, really nice looking. I can't, I can't get over it. Oh, now where the heck even am I though? I should probably fly back, but I mean, I got a rare candy, so that's pretty worth. Look at those rocks there too. Oh, I got a bait opportunity here. Nice. I remember I bought that gourmet bait like forever ago. Want to toss in some? Yeah. Gourmet. What are we gonna get out of this? Come on, baby. You know you like the gourmet bait. What? Nothing happened. Hmm. Maybe that's just a bad spot for bait. I could throw in another gourmet bait, but I'm afraid of wasting it now. Seeing my first one fail makes me think maybe my second one will fail too. Uh-oh. I probably should have seen that coming. Do not disturb the environment of the bug Pokemon. Hey, I'm just trying to walk around at a leisurely pace, and you're the one throwing, uh, throwing Pokemon battles out. Oh. Oh boy. Level 17, huh? Okay. Well, uh... I could probably just use any move and get one hit kills, or one hit KOs, sorry, here. Will I switch? Yeah. I'll actually switch into Flameo for this one, because in the name of PP Preservation, or PPP, P3, Persona 3, um, 
I will use Nostril Flare exclusively because it just has so much gosh dang PP to begin with. I got 35 PP, and they have like, what, three or four Pokemon? That's not even gonna make a tiny little dent in my team. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. 500 XP, though, that's not bad. All right, the final, oh yeah, they got Protect. Yeah, that's just my jam. I'm gonna take a sip of water while I think about that. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. Well, easy peasy. You are the enemy of bugs, or I'm an enemy of bugs. No, I love bugs. I just kill every single one I see. No, I, no, I don't do that, what? Hey, I'm back at the beginning. I recognize this place. I recognize this route now. Mm-hmm. I should probably fly out of here. But, you know, I'm having a little bit of fun exploring Genesis Forest once again. Look how nice it looks. Ah, so anytime I could have gone up that way instead. Cool. Just goes to show you how cool that area really is. However, what I need to do... I guess... Do I fly back to Palkan Trail and go to the right? I think that's what I gotta do. Yeah, there we go. That's a weird fly location, but I guess it places me next to a healing spot, so it's uh, totally cool. I was just confused, because I hadn't been here yet, or I haven't been to this part of the trail. Have I fought her? I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll go back there and find out. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's really good. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is something that I could replace Discharge with, but I think Discharge might actually be better than Thunderbolt. Let's compare the two. Let's do a little bit of a comparison here. I think Discharge is better, though. Wait, I guess I'm wrong. Oh, it's just a little bit better. 8100 and can paralyze. 9100, paralyze. But the thing is, Discharge does the area around me, so for double battles, Discharge can hit both, but it would also hit my ally. And this only hits one target. Okay. Sorry, Discharge. You're a good move. Discharge, I got a lot of mileage out of you. You will not be forgotten, except I totally just forgot you. <laughs> Sorry, Discharge. Oh, gosh. A Bufalant. What am I going to do? I always forget that Bufalant... Is it Bufalant? Like, I always forget Bufalant exists. There's a lot of Pokemon like that that I forget about. Like, I forget about Mandibuzz. I, there's a lot of Gen 5 I forget about, just because I haven't played that one as much. I'm not as familiar with Gen 5. I'm actually going to Shadow Ball Jinx. Um, yes, I... I I guess that's one of the paradoxes about thinking up forgettable Pokemon. Like, if they're really forgettable, then you won't remember them to bring them up. You know, like, you could say something like Corsola, but even then, Corsola got a new form and a new, like, evolution in Gen 8, so, like, how forgettable really is Corsola? Let's see, Swampert. Will I switch? Actually, no. Oh, look at that. I like that Swampert pose. Is that... What, what's that from? Is that? I think that's Heart Gold Soul Silver. I'm so used to like his Emerald pose, though. Okay, get him, Flamio. Okay, sending in a Luxray. I'm not as good against Electric types, but Flamio resists it, right? Flamio's part Dragon. That's kind of cool. I think I can take him. I can take him. Oh gosh, double Intimidate, huh? I think that's fine. We're probably both gonna end up using special attacks anyway. <laughs> If, if I use Flamethrower, maybe they'll respond with, like, a Thunderbolt. Thunderfang, actually. Oh. Okay, they did go for physical. All right, fine. Be my guest. Be my freaking guest, Luxray. If that's how you want it to go down, then I'm down for that. Braviary. Oh, I'm switching. Yeah, I'm switching. Yeah, your boy is switching. You know what I'm already all about. I just learned Thunderbolt. What a perfect opportunity now for me to utilize it. Air Slash, more like, yeah, that move sucks ass. Oh, when I, f oh, okay, flinch, never mind, I take it back. Air Slash is all right. Oh, Crush Claw, oh, oh, Static, oh. I went from, ugh, to, oh, in like one second. Very nice. Oh, I gotta readjust in my chair. I'm trying to get all comfy here. Yeah, there we go, I'm entering the comfort zone. I'm learning Signal Beam now. Um, I might actually keep this and replace Electro Ball, because I think Thunderbolt is going to do more damage than Electro Ball. I could be wrong, because this does more damage the faster the user is. The thing is, I'm pretty sure that Ampharos isn't that fast. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to switch. Arcanine. 
Yeah, see, here once again lies the paradox. I would love to use Ripjaw to just destroy fire types, but I take neutral damage from fire damage. Oh, and I got friggin' intimidated too, so Crab Hammer might not kill. Oh, wait, but they're using physical moves, and I got my, my patented Rocky Helmet Iron Barb combo. I forgot about that. Okay, now I feel more comfortable with Crab Hammer. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, <laughs> that'd be crazy to break it down, but it's very po- Oh, Shadow Claw. Ooh, what? Weird. Why am I learning so many ghost type moves? I mean, I'm like a Kraken. My name is Skull Kraken, but like, you'd think I'm a ghost type with all, like, I was learning Hex and Shadow Claw and stuff? What the F? Anyway, what was I even talking about? Yeah, I would be interesting to see like a breakdown of the stats there. Like, did the Rocky Helmet lead to me getting that Crab, ham crab Hammer KO? It'd be interesting to see, nonetheless. All right, let's head to the north. I haven't... Oh, I need to go to the left, I guess. <laughs> Let's go to the west instead, actually. I'm definitely having a fun time beating up all these trainers around here, though, but I need to actually venture forward. I can read you. Oh, yeah? Well, I can read you? I can read your text? Okay, Psychic David. Oh, Bronzong. This actually shouldn't be too bad. Dude, Shadow Ball has been putting in work. I should look and see if I can teach... Um, Flamethrower to Mind Freak, actually. That would have been a better move. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, crap. Wait, it's me. It's me versus me. All right, I bet you I'm faster. I bet you I'm faster. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Let's go, Mind Freak. Chris Angel, Mind Freak. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and Burb with the level ups again. Burb is uh, definitely going to be doing some work later. I'm excited to just pop everything with Brave Bird. It's going to be my freaking jam. It's going to be my jam. And then Flamethrower, easy peasy. Easy enough battle. Easy enough. I'm interested in seeing like some more difficult battles, like when I fought, uh, what was his name? Howlet, the ego leader. Although, it'll be a little tricky. I've only got five Pokemon. I really want to see what's in that god dang egg. Am I going to like play through this whole game without seeing what's in that egg? It's very possible. I mean, what I could do is just sprint back and forth until the egg hatches. And then just like edit to up to that moment. But that'd feel a little bit like disingenuine, right? Like, what I'm doing is I'm playing through all natural, baby. I'm not skipping anything. I'm going right on in. Oh, look at this. This guy's absolutely going to be using fighting types. I train with this rock, now I'll train with you. I would actually be interested in him having rock types now, after saying that. All right, Curtis, what do you got? Ooh, Blaziken, am I faster? Yeah, I'm faster, okay. Man, having a super fast, super special attack strong uh, Alakazam to just wipe the floor with everything. Trick, What? what is trick? Swaps its held item with its own. Yeah, I'll pass on that. I'm kind of down to make some money. I want to keep that amulet coin in. Give me the amulet coin. Give me the psychic. Just give me the money. Oh, man. I'm just a, a one-shot man right now. Just a one-shot man. What else you got? Lucario. Will I switch for Lucario? I actually will. I actually will. I want to get. I want to play the field. I just don't want to only use Mind Freak this whole playthrough, even though I have been doing a lot of that. I want to mix it up. I want to get some flamethrowers up in here. Oh, quick guard, huh? Quick guard, huh? Nice. He protected his entire team. Good job. <laughs> Good move. Oh, yes. Humbled. Yeah, you got humbled as heck. Is there anything on this rock? Anything cool up in here? That's a nice rock. Now that is a nice boulder. What do we have up here? Palkin Heights. <gasps> There's a Rhyhorn just chilling. Oh, and there's a man sprinting up there, too. There's a lot going on over here. Oh my gosh, look at all these trainers. There's a guy over there who wants to fight me, a guy up there who wants to fight me, a guy on the right who probably wants to fight me. Let's just fight them all. It's good to train against strong opponents. Yeah, which is why fighting you is going to be a real bummer. <laughs> oh, Black Belt Adrian. Oh, Black Belt Adrian, what are you going to do? You're going to get hit by Energy Ball, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get got. I'm kind of surprised at how high my levels are getting here, too. I'm getting pretty dang high. I could probably get to, like, level 
100 before this demo's over. Nah, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I'm probably way off base there. Oh, gosh. Uh-oh, that could be really bad, actually. Shit. I keep forgetting about freaking Sucker Punch. I need to, uh... Stop getting hit by that. <laughs> All right, Burb can get him, though. Go, Burb. Yeah. I wonder if Burb could one-shot with Fly. I'll try it. Woohoo! Up I go! Nice try. Nice try, my guy. Take this. Come on, get the one shot. Oh! Okay, crit. Never mind. Dang it. <laughs> the crit makes me feel like my Pokemon are weaker. I wanna I wanna see how strong my Pokemon are like without crits. How much damage can I really do? Haha! -ha! Now is this a one shot? Oh. Yes. Brave Bird is pretty good. It's gonna require me to pump a lot of healing items into Burb, though. I'm gonna need... Yeah, let's go, Burb. Brave Burb! Yay! Look at that. I'm probably gonna go down to, like, no health, though. I need to start buying, buying some, like, Hyper Potions to feed Burb. Let's go, Burb. Let's go. You belong up here. Yes, I do. I'm the money-making man. And I've got quite the money-making plan. Can I fly here now, though? Have I unlocked this area for flight? I don't think I have, so I'd have to go back up the trail again. Dang. That stinks. So if I want to hang out up here... Ooh, I could pop a Hyper Potion. Yeah, screw it, I'll pop a Hyper Potion, whatever. Um, but yeah, if I want to spend more time up here, I need to have more healing items. I should probably buy more healing items. I, <laughs> I think I've got a lot of money, right? Like, how much have I made? What do we got? Oh my gosh, 256,000. I'm kinda loaded right now. Ooh. A TM. Oh, another TM. Dragon Claw. Oh. Oh, I'm getting uh, some good stuff. I wonder if I'm like approaching the end of the demo, because this is a demo for Pokemon Infinity. I think uh, I'm, I'm approaching like critical mass, at least when it comes to like my Pokemon team strength. I'm getting Thunderbolt TMs and flamethrowers and friggin' Dragon Claws, like, that's some endgame feeling stuff. Am I near the end? This is only like, what, the 10th episode? It's time for a good hike! Uh-oh. This guy wants to, this guy wants to, wants to hike? John, okay. Oh, gosh! The evolution of Dunsparce is Ket's Sparse? I kinda like that, so it's like a Quetzalcoatl. That's kinda cool looking, I like how he's like a little beard and a little horn too, looking like a little unicorn. Uh-oh. Oh, is that gonna kill? Thank goodness it didn't. A mind freak gets the cat sparse. I gotta keep an eye out for those. I'm gonna guess normal dragon. Kind of a cool typing. Although I guess it's not unique. It's um what Drampa? Oh my gosh, talk about forgettable Pokemon. I forget about Drampa existing. And then what's the other one, man? There's uh there's like the one that looks like a steering wheel or whatever from uh, Sun and Moon. <laughs> What's that one? Can I signal me? Yeah! Yeah! There we go. That'll do the trick. Let's go Bolt. Let's go. Let's go Ripjaw. Kabutops. Will I switch? Actually, no. This is perfect. Yeah, I'll Thunderbolt you. Oh, he's faster! Shit. Don't be a crit. Thank goodness. Slash has a higher crit chance, I'm thinking. So that could have been bad. Although, doesn't look like it was doing that much damage. TBH. If I'm being completely H. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Protect. That's fine. I thought even Amistar was faster than Bolt. I was about to be disappointed. I'm, like, six levels higher. Goodness gracious. My hands are so freaking sweaty. Whenever I play, like, through these, like, Let's Plays, doing, like, Pokemon games and stuff, my hands get obscenely sweaty. It's absurd. To the point where now I'm holding the controller above my desk, and I'm still just, like, sweating all over my desk. I got, like, a big-ass mouse pad up here, too. I feel like a total slob. <gasps> Rare candy again, let's go. I could probably... I could... Seven rare candies? Oh my gosh. What do I even do? What do I even do for that? Oh, perfect. Mooma Milk right on up there to perfect full health. And I guess I'll also Mooma Milk Bolt. There we go. Healthy team. Healthy and happy. Dang, my Pokedex 18 out of 195. My completion ratio, a little off, a little on the low side. What's that, 18 out of 195? What is that, like, a, is that a B? <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, what is that, like a C plus? <laughs> All right. 
This will be a one shot if he doesn't have sturdy. Eh. <laughs> My boy does not have sturdy. Should have brought sturdy. Yeah, turdy. That's that's a low blow. <laughs> That's some lowbrow humor. You know, you got highbrow humor, and then you got some lowbrow stuff. When you start talking about fecal matter and your jokes, you're going lowbrow. Uh oh. And he missed. Nice. Now, please, hopefully, I don't miss. I'm thinking you're done, skis? Yeah! Ripjaw into Steelix. Well, you saw who the clear winner was there, although they did miss. If he went for, like, Earthquake or something, though, I would have been fricked. Final Gambit. Risks all to attack the foe. The user faints, but does damage equal to his HP. Man, if I'm gonna have a fighting type move, I'd rather just have close Gambit. I mean, did I say Gambit? Oh my gosh, I mixed close combat with final Gambit. I would rather have close combat. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd rather have close Gambit. No, maybe final combat. <laughs> you gotta listen to me. My brain. What's going on? Mind freak. I'm becoming my own Chris Angel mind freak. My mind is definitely freaking out. Hey, Ripjaw leveled up. Bolt level up, I like that. I like that very much, actually. Check it out, I can tell I've reached the left end of the map. <gasps> it's one of the bad guys! I gotta fight him. I gotta show him I mean business. But how do I get up there? I need rock climb or something. There's a rye horn. Sure, that's all well and good. Hey, there's another bad guy up there. Hey! <gasps> oh, Larvitar! Oh, I want to catch it. Larvitar is like one of my favorite Pokemon. The question is, what do I even do to try to catch this? Um, it'll probably resist Burb. Right? Like if I do Takedown or something. Although I have Stab. Crap. Oh, I know what to do. What if I do Power Gem? Yeah. Because then I won't even have Stab. Like if I do Bolt Power Gem... Ah, oh, but Bolt has pretty high special attack. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't want to KO him instantly. I'm just gonna say this probably won't KO him. Oh, wait, I'll Thunder Wave first though, too. Oh wait, yeah, that duh. He's Ground type also. For some reason, I was thinking it was just Rock. And I said that Larvitar was like one of my favorite Pokemon, if not my favorite Pokemon. And I'm out here messing up his types. What am I, stinky? What am I, a big stinky butthead? Come on. Oh crap, he's probably gonna start hurting himself now. I should not throw out another power gem, though. Or then, in that case. You know what? You know what? I'll throw an Ultra Ball. I was thinking, that'd be funny if I throw a Premier Ball and catch him, but he's still at over half. Or she's still at over half. Oh! I almost got him. Almost got you. Okay, there we go. I knew that was going to freaking happen. All right. You know what? I'll toss one of these for you. You know why? Cause I wanna take care of you, Larvitar. I wanna I want you to join my team. You're so nice and so good. Don't! Come on! Come on, you little jerk. Hey! Don't snap out of confusion so early. Dark pulse? What? Say what? Alright, come on, Larvitar. Come on, baby, you know I want you. Ow! Come on! It doesn't respond to luxury, huh? Okay, fine. It 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 cares more for the simpler things in life. I'm trying to give it caviar when at the end of the day, you know, it just wants a, it just wants a, just wants a burger. And I can respect that, the simpler things. Come on, go for a thrash again, please. Ugh. Oh, it bums me out to no end that it's like out of power, power gem distance. I could throw in Ripjaw and go for a cut, maybe? Maybe that's what I gotta do. Oh, maybe the iron barbs. Maybe that's what I do. Uh, but that might kill. Ah, uh, that's risky. I think I'm doing pretty good right now. If it goes for a physical move and then gets hit by static, then that could be good as well. I think it's avoiding physical moves right now because it doesn't want to proc static. Oh, there we go. Or I could just catch it. Thank you, Larvitar, my baby. Yeah. Will I give it a nickname? You bet your ass I'm giving it a nickname. I'm going to even the nickname that I will always give it. There we go. So, in the event that the egg sucks and is not cool, which is very possible, it doesn't even seem close to hatching. Frick. But anyway, in the event that the egg sucks, Thundaga will join the team and we'll have a Larvitar. Sounds good. You're going to head up to the plateau? I would like to, but I don't have Rock Smash. Whatever will I do, Nathan? Whatever will I. Oh, he's got a Mandibuzz. Oh, shit. 
I guess I'll send in Bolt. Is Mandibuzz dark flying or is it just normal flying? I swapped out Alakazam because I thought maybe this would actually be dark flying. And uh, I'm gonna guess yes. It's using moves like Punishment. Oh. Mm. Is Punishment even a dark move? I don't even remember. <laughs> ah, whatever. It's weird that it's only level 44 though. I've been fighting some people up here that are like level 48 up to like 50. I've been seeing some crazy shit. What do I do here? A Hypno. I could actually keep in Bolt and go for a Signal Beam, but Bolt's a little bit beat up. Mind Freak's perfectly full. It's only level 43? What? That's like way too low now. I fought some level like, wasn't, wasn't it like a 48 that I fought earlier? The levels do feel like they're a little bit like all over the place, and it's there's definitely not level scaling in this game because I fought like level 17 or something earlier in uh, Genesis Forest, so it just makes me wonder. Like, I guess that's something that would be looked into for like tweaking later. Honestly, tweaking levels and stuff is just really hard. I'm glad that there's variants though; they're they're not just all the same levels. So that's cool. Plus, like, I'm I'm lazy as hell and put level scaling in my game, Pokemon Splice, and it ended up like not being the best system. It's not horrible, but it's also like not not great. It's always hard to like dig the the balancing and all of that. Alright, what do we got? Metang. I actually should have swapped. I didn't read what it was, so I didn't swap. I was just too busy mashing A. But hey, you know, it's fine. I got Flameo up in here. I got Flameo. I'm fine. Oh gosh. Agility. He's gonna be speeding around. He's gonna be rolling around at the speed of sound. I can't have that. <laughs> Even after agility, I'm 10 levels higher, so I'm, I'm still going to be faster. Oh my goodness. That's actually hilarious. Agility into still get outsped. A battle has ended! Yes, it has, good sir. If you plan to explore all of Koro's cave, you'll have to have certain badges in order to move and smash rocks. Dang it, I need to be able to move and smash those rocks. And as it stands, I cannot do that at the, at the present time. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice down there. Oh, and there's a little treasure chest and stuff. Dang. Man, I want that treasure chest. Ah. Oh. All right, I'll beat this guy up and then I'll end the episode. Do you study the sacred texts? No. I don't even know what the sacred texts are. Where are these texts? Can I read them? Can I see them, Renee? Can I, may I observe them? Yeah, I'll just hit him with Psychic. See, look, there we go, level 48. The guy at the top of the hill had a level 43 on his team, and then this guy starts with a level 48. Seems a little bit confusing. Oh! Oh, one HP! Oh! Wow! What is that luck? What is that damage roll? Goodness gracious. Charizard. Will I switch? Uh, it's gonna be Water Dragon. I could keep in my Mind Freak and go for some like crazy damage, but I'm actually gonna do a dragon battle. We're gonna have a dragon versus dragon fight. He's level 52. Don't be, okay, cool. I'm surprised that he didn't actually do like competitive or whatever. Ooh, yeah, suck on that, asshole. Oh, oh no! He knows the same move. Ah! <laughs> I'm glad he didn't go for, uh, or I'm glad he didn't get a crit. Hey. Sorry, Bubby. I had a little more speed on my side. So it was it was a little bit free. Metacham, yeah, I'll swap. Burb, you know what to do. Burb, do your thing. Do your thing, Burb. Although, I'm 10 levels higher. God, the lucky egg is so good. I'm gonna fly instead, actually. I could have gone for a brave Burb. But I'm thinking, uh... Wait, I avoided Psych Up. I thought Psych Up was something that they do on themselves. Okay, maybe I'm forgetting it. Maybe I'm thinking of Work Up. That's probably what it is. Yeah, I get the one shot there. Good good golly. Good golly gosh, that's a lot of damage. What do we got here? Focus Blast. Ooh, there's some interesting stuff. A little Magikarp down there. Aw, that's pretty cool. They're all washed up ashore. I could get the treasure chest. Yeah! Luxury Balls, nice. What else we got? A big nugget, that's some significant money. I like, ooh, hyper potions, I could actually use those. Heck yeah, that's so freaking cool. I think I'll end the episode here. This is a nice little scenic spot. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Turn into a little burp boy at the end of my episode. Until next time, I hope that you all 
have a good one.